my channel. Today I'm super excited to show you the inside of the new, brand new, all-in-one, undated digital life skills planner. Before we start, I would like to give you a sneak peek at my Etsy shop. Uh, just in case you haven't heard of it before, it's Simply Digital Studio and it's fairly new shop. I have a lot of listings right now that you could come check out. And here's a sneak peek. My shop is Simply Digital Studio, digital planners, templates, stickers, and more. And inside my shop, I have featured items, Christmas Digital, Christmas Digital Countdown, and I have Elegant Digital Floral Planner. It's 2021. And all my other items are posted along the side here. There's notebook planners, digital stickers, journals, uh, customized planners, digital covers, and I have uh, just a whole selection of digital planners, some templates, some bullet journals, a uh, co couple cookbooks, some digital notebooks, education, fonts, dated planners, and more dated planners. I recently posted the new all-in-one daily life skills planner. And here it is, all-in-one digital daily life skills planner. It's an undated planner. This is the mini video. It goes through all the covers and then it shows you the index section. These are your six different cover choices to choose from. And then want to see what's inside the planner. What I'm doing now with the video is I'm going to show you an in-depth of this particular planner. Um, the mini view video you had just seen. Here's a monthly view. Uh, the tabs flip like a real planner. It's undated monthly with tracker. You can add your stickers, dates, and more. Weekly view. You get a choice of six different uh, layouts for your weekly. And this is linked undated monthlies. And for your daily view as well, you get one, out of one this is one daily out of six choices. So you also get six layouts for your daily view. Uh, use this section here, it's just uh, used to be photos for photos, document, or customize it however you want. And there's um, five more choices for your dailies. And there's lots of uh, productivity pages. So you have your yearly overview, your goal setting, your health and wellness section, your meal planning, money management, chore schedule, important contacts, and password keeper. And it also includes six sheets of uh, digital good notes matching digital stickers that are all pre-cropped. And that's the lead, my latest design. And now what I'd like to show you is the actual inside of this particular planner. This is our covers. There's six different covers. This is our first cover, our second cover, our third cover, our fourth cover, our fifth cover, and our sixth cover. So you have six choices of covers. And for the covers for each one, the monthlies are all linked. And this is linked to your, this is linked to your yearly overview which has lines to write in after after every month and these months are also hyperlinked as well so you can go to January and it takes you to your undated monthly which you could add stickers to and this comes with stickers to add so you can actually go to 
your sticker section. So you have all of these different stickers to add. Now, if you want to add some of these stickers, copy, go back to your planner, paste, and you have your dated stickers. And then to add your stickers, you, your dates, you would just go to, then you would move it. And then mm, January 1st starts on Friday. So you would put your one there. size these however you like. So this is all um, on Deity. You can add things to those. You could add your month up here as well. So we'll go back here, we have January. Copy. Paste. And then you, add, you could add January in. Put all of your dates in. Have your tracker here and after you add all your dates and your month you can design it however you like you can write in it but this is your undated monthly section then you can go to, back to your yearly overview section again and go to another month say April and that takes you and the tabs flip just like an actual uh, paper planner then go back now down on the bottom here we have our index in our index section we have um, it's set up as like daily weekly meal planning health and wellness goal setting finance, cleaning schedule, important contacts, vision board, password keeper, customized section, which you also get customized um, pre uh, templates to add to your planner, line paper, dot grid paper, blank paper, and graph paper. So now if we go to our daily section, now this is what I meant by um, there's six uh, possible layouts. So this would be layout one. You have your habit tracker up here, your goals, top priorities, uh, currently reading, watching, listening to, working on um, what you love, of how you feel, and excited how you're ex what you're excited about. And then this section here you could use for stickers or you could customize it however you like, write in it, and then go back to your daily section and the second daily and this particular layout you can just write after all of your times what you're doing for that time you could highlight like say from 6 a.m to 9 a.m you could highlight that and then write next to it what you happen to be doing for that time period and so on. 
and um, go back to our dailies. We have daily three, top prior or today's priorities, today's goals, something new. And you could add a picture to this as well. Put like a little photo here and write something new that's happening. And your today's schedule to-do list, today's meals, happiness, mood, and water. And then back to your daily, daily four. And this, this has gratitude on here. And daily five. Daily five has meals here instead. And then another area where you can add your photos or customize it how you like. And daily six. For our weekly section, in our weeklies we have weekly one, which is our quadrant. Weekly two, which is our horizontal. Weekly three is vertical layout. Weekly four hey guys. is a, this particular layout Monday through Sunday as well. Weekly five. And weekly six. Weekly six is just a weekly overview section that you can use in your planner. Now, in order to hey add these, say you wanted to add a section after, we'll do the daily, for instance. Okay, so you have your daily one, and you want to add this after January. So what you would do is you go here and then you go to three dots, copy page. So your page is copied and then you would go, here's all your covers, here's your index, here's January right here. So you would go to January and then you would go to add your page after add page after paste page and then so after January you'll have that page we go to January that's January and we started dating and then after January you would go to your daily section right here so now we have our daily Back to our index. So you could do that with your weeklies as well as your dailies. And we have a meal planning section here. And our meal planning, our family favorites, our fridge inventory. We have a meal plan and a grocery list section. So there's week one. This goes back. Week two. That takes you back. And then week three. Week four and week five. So that's our meal plan section. And then we have household healthy food choices. Healthy food choices are right here. You can write down your healthy food choices. You can document and write on this section. And then if we go back, this will take you back to your meal planning. And then you have family favorites, meal plan, grocery list, fridge inventory, and healthy food choices. And each of those will take you to those pages. And then we have health and wellness. 
In our health and wellness section, we have a weight tracker with wellness goals, sleep tracker, and medication tracker. And this is our weight tracker. Health and fitness weight loss goal to your goal area and your weight tracker here. And then that barbell takes you back to your health and wellness. And then we have wellness goals. In wellness goals, we have January through December. So we'll start with January and we have our January wellness goals and wellness trackers. So you could put pictures in here. That's before or after if you'd like, or you could just write something before and after in there. That's a blank spot for you. Um, you can do some kind of documentation or something in here for your goals, your measurements, your start weight, end weight, your start BMI, end BMI, and your wellness tracker week one. This is your wellness tracker section. Week of start weight, end weight, wellness tracker, and then you fill in all your details for the week. And then if you go back, you can do the same. Week two, week three, week four, week five, and so forth. So this takes you back to your wellness goals. And this arrow takes you back to your wellness goals as well. And then if you want to go back, you can also slide you have exercise tracker, fitness planner here. So that would be after that section, oh, sorry. After this, before this section rather, you have your fitness planner area. You could also write in here from Sunday through Saturday. And then there's a sleep tracker, health tracker, grateful for this week's review, meal plan, notes. Here's your exercise tracker. And then that's it for our health and wellness. Then we have our goal setting. We have this year's goals, small long-term goals, achieving goals. This year's goals, spiritual lifestyle, relationships, family, mental, physical, financial, business. What's most important right now? You can write one through five in my whys. And then we go back to our goal setting area. Then we go to uh, small long-term goals. Small goals, week one, week two, week three, week four, steps you take in your goal, long-term goals. Long-term goal, three mini goals, your actionable tasks, your reward. And why are you selecting this goal? goal setting again and achieving goals and this is just your goals your plan your reward that you have achieved after you achieved your goal your action steps that you've taken and then we have a finance section this is a pretty big section here our finance section we have our January to April expenses so it goes on January February March April and your expenses, you what your expenses are, your due, and whether or not it was paid. And then it goes to May, June, July, August. And you have September, October, November, December. And the piggy bank takes you back. So those are all your expenses section, September through December. And then we have our monthly income and savings. Monthly income and savings, expenditure, income, expenditure, savings, all the way through the months. And then you have this section to write in um, for your inf informational, for your account, your savings, and so forth. And then we also have an expenses tracker. Our item, amount, and date, category, notes for your expenses tracker. And... Piggy Bank takes you back, and then you have spending trackers and monthly budget. So we'll go to January. January, we have a monthly budget area, budget goal, month, year, and then your income, fixed expenses, other expenses, and your recap. Then this is your January spending tracker, and then you just check mark 
your date category is similar set up to a checking book so that you have your date category plus minus and your balance and that's for each month so then if you want to find your spending tracker you would just go to january and here's your spending tracker and then this just goes on throughout all the months if you just tap onto the arrow and then go back and then you have a savings area your savings goal with the piggy bank here amount saved amount spent deductions additions and your total savings and then after our finances we have a cleaning schedule we have a cleaning schedule deep cleaning Deep cleaning tracker, January through February, March through April, May to June, July to August, September, October, November to December. And this will take you to your chore schedule. You have a chore schedule annual, monthly, weekly, and daily. And the cleaning thing will take you back to your chore schedules here. And if you want to go back, project management. And then you have a project management area of your project idea, what's needed. You have an outline, a start date, an end date, and all of your action steps. That takes you back to your cleaning, back to your index. And we have important contacts. Important contacts section to write in. And then we have a vision board section and the vision board. There's the vision board one, vision board two, like it looks like that. You could choose whatever vision board you'd like to use. And there's a vision board three as well. So anyways, we go to, we did that. We did our vision board, uh, password keeper. This is your password keeper section. Air website username, password, and it goes all the way through. And if you'd like to, you can make copies of this as well and add them to your after your months or whatever you'd like to add them in your planner. And then we have a customized section. So you'll get this comes with um, a bunch of templates that are already pre made that you can use to put into your customize section and you just add them in I might have one I can show you let's go back to your customize section and see go here go up to your pencil photo and let me see if I can find one to add so I can show you how you would add that in. Okay, so I do have a deep cleaning tracker, but here's the urine pixels, for example. Okay, so I have urine pixels, and all you have to do to add the templates is just size it and put it on your page, to your page. So go back to your pencil. And line it up, size it, and then it's right on there. Go back to your pencil. There you go, you have your pixels. And this is just one example. There's many different templates that you can use. And then you can just document and write in here just as you would normally. So that's one example that you can do for your customized section. And then there's a uh, line paper. So you can have line paper. There's actually five, one, two, three, four, and five. And you could copy and paste these as well. Dot grid. And there's five here as well. And then we have 
blank paper and graph paper. And then for the shopping cart, shopping cart takes you to directly to my shop. So it'll take you directly to Simply Digital Studio. And we have a notebook here. This takes you to your instructions. So it's a whole instruction area to help you to utilize this planner better. And then we're gonna go back to our index. Go to pick one of your covers that you want to use, or you could delete them. If you don't want to use a particular one, you can delete it. And here's all of your cover choices. So that's all for now, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll keep you posted on uh, new videos. And take care. All right, love you guys. Bye.